I'm David Gassaway, and on this Talk Around Town, we're gonna talk about the sister city program that we have in Fairfield with Nirasaki Japan. I'm here today on the Fairfield Nirasaki Sister City Friendship Bridge outside City Hall, and I'm here with Anna Giles, our assistant to the city manager, who oversees our Sister City program. Anna, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, David. Well, tell us a little bit about the Sister City program and what it's all about. Yeah, so the Sister City program, it's a long-standing program that we have here in the city of Fairfield. It was established in 1971, and it was part of a larger initiative that was actually started by President Eisenhower back in 1956 in order to form people-to-people -people diplomacy. And in 1971, the city of Fairfield signed up to be partnered with the Sister City, and we were partnered with Nirasaki Japan. Um, part of the reason that we were partnered with Nirasaki is that we were similar in size. We were both about 30,000 people at the time. We had similar climate and we both had an agricultural economy at the time growing grapes. Um, since then, we've maintained our long-standing sister city friendship with Nirasaki. Even though our cities have grown in very different ways, they're still very agricultural forward with about 28,000 people who live in Nirasaki, whereas Fairfield has continued to grow here in Solano County. In addition to just being sister cities, uh, we also have regular exchanges um, to build that diplomacy with Nirasaki with adult exchanges every five years. And since 1987, we also have student exchanges twice a year. Okay, student exchanges, that's excellent. So um, what, what age of students um, uh, exchange and, and what's, that, what's that look like? How, how does that work? So the student exchange program, um, in the summertime, we are sending Fairfield High School students ages 14 to 17, um, either an incoming freshman all the way through an outgoing senior over to Nirasaki to spend three weeks um, with them, going to school, attending cultural events, really learning what life in Japan and Nirasaki is like. And then in December, we are excited to be able to welcome students from Nirasaki for two weeks. And similarly, they attend classes here in Fairfield, they get to see historical sites and experience what life in America is like. Okay, so um, how, do, how do students or adults get involved with doing any of those exchanges? We're always looking for participants in the Sister City program. You can go to fairfield.ca.gov slash sister city to learn more about the program or email sistercity at fairfield.ca.gov. And volunteering and participating in the program can look like a wide array of opportunities through hosting students or the chaperones that come. Um, to signing up to help with our farewell party, hosting students for a cultural experience when they visit, or if you're a student and you'd like to visit Japan, um, we are accepting applications each spring um, to actually go and travel as well. So those applications are reviewed um, regularly, and if you go to our website, you can always find more information. Okay, and, and how many, about how many students um, exchange either coming from Nirasaki or going from Fairfield to Nirasaki? Mm -hmm. So we are always accepting and sending six students. So six students from Nirasaki visit us in December, six students from Fairfield go to Nirasaki in the summertime, and then accompanying the students from Fairfield is one chaperone. So if you're an adult and you're interested in attending the uh, summer visit as well, we're always looking for a chaperone. And then in the winter, Nirasaki sends two chaperones, one school teacher and one city hall. Okay, okay. And you know, last year I was fortunate to be a host family for uh, one of the students coming from Japan incredible experience. We're, we're still friends and, and in contact uh, with him and his family. I look forward to hopefully going to Nirasaki here uh, in the next year or so um, to visit. Um, any Anything else that uh, our residents should know about uh, Nirasaki or about the program? They are extremely hospitable and welcoming. They um, take a lot of pride in our relationship that we have with them. They are very excited whenever we're able to send students and the adult delegation every five years. We had to take a pause of the Sister City program during the pandemic. So we were on hiatus for about three years. And so being able to reestablish this program means a lot for not just Nirasaki, but Fairfield as well. Because again, we are a very diverse community here in Fairfield. And so being able to maintain a relationship with a city so far from us um, in order to create that cultural experience for the students is really enriching. Yes, absolutely. 
All right, well, thank you, Anna. Arigato gozaimasu. All right, and for this talk around town, I'm David Gassaway. We'll see you next time. To view more programs like this, follow the City of Fairfield on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.